Hi, I'm Gavin Lajani, Head of Strategy and Insight at Dot Digital. Welcome back to our Dot Dives, a series of bite-sized presentations on specific topics to help you quickly get up to speed with your marketing. In this episode of Dot Live, we'll be diving into all things segmentation and the best tactics to help you tackle that. First off, everything in this bite-sized session can be found in the guide 10 Segmentation Hacks for Beginners. So if you want to take a deeper dive, um, be sure to find out, um, find all of this in our resources page. Right, let's get started. Have you ever gone back to a particular bar or restaurant just because they know exactly how you like your meal or your drink? And before you've even got up to the counter, they've started making, out, uh, making it for you and have shouted out the usual, right? And you kind of reply, yeah, right. That's ex exactly what I wanted. Thanks. That super personal approach makes things a lot easier for you and the bar person or the waiter. And everyone in this scenario is a lot more happy. That same experience can be more challenging to achieve or replicate online, but it's not impossible. The customer experience hinges on segmentation and it allows you to offer the same relevant perks and incentives that make the experience excellent and personalized as it would be in a physical store. So why does this matter? Well, the DMA tells us that uh, marketers who use segmentation experience 7x increase in revenue. And according to Ascend2, 51% of marketers consider email list segmentation to be the most effective tactic for effective email marketing. So with those stats in mind, let's look at what you need to do to get your segmentation game up to speed and see similar results in your marketing efforts. Well, before we start segmenting, you need to consider four things. Um, and those four things are, first off, one, define your target customer. Start making personas, i.e. You know, recent customers, VIP or seasonal shoppers. Two, identify that criteria and differentiate personas. Now this is a big one, so it's kind of stick with me. You'll need to look at demographics like age, um, gender or location, behaviors, you know, whether you can track them online, um, their order history and, and job role, their interests, um, you can help to tailor things as well, like uh, their hobbies and activities and their pursuits. Ethical values mean a lot as well. So take note of customers' opinions and, their, and the causes they follow. The audience size is something you'll need to look at, whether it's too niche or not. But be careful not to segment too much. If you shrink your list down too much, then you might not get the same ROI you, you want, um, and unless you're looking at VIP customers who will return a, a lot for you. RFM is super effective too, and it's a great way of filtering your data based on how recently um, people have bought, uh, purchased, you know, how much they spent, and how frequently they've purchased as well. And it's great to help you target those people and get some really great ROI. A top tip is to fuse RFM with engagement, and that can really help you get targeted. Now you can capture all of these points on uh, websites by your know, tracking or preference centers, um, or if you're e-commerce through your store or ecosystem, then you can start to trigger people um, off the back of this. Then you need to analyze how easily you can get hold of these data points I just mentioned. If you can't easily get hold of them, you may need to simplify your approach um, and look at other alternatives uh, to reach your goal. Have a discussion with your account manager and that can really help this, uh, this point get a lot easier for you. Um, integrate your data into your omni-channel marketing automation platform. By the way, we make that really easy in Engagement Cloud um, for you to link up with external uh, data sources. Now you're finally ready to segment. Um, there are countless ways uh, to segment your list. Um, as long as you've collected the right data, you can create um, whatever segments you're looking for. But there are four, another four main areas that I think you should be segmenting on first before going on to other things. Firstly, segment and nurture your new, new, new subscribers and first time customers. Technically, they're, you know, they're two separate segments, but both of them are start, starting their journey with you. So, uh, you know, who's counting? For new subscribers, this is a chance for you to get to know them and wow them by remembering them each time they come back to your site um, before purchasing. Now, don't delay your messages to this group. Be on the ball, message them straight away, and be happy to help. If you do right by these new subscribers, they'll um, eventually turn into new customers very soon. 
Now, don't be too needy by overwhelming new customers and bombarding them with uh, a whole load of messages. Give them some space, you know? Allow them to enjoy their new purchase. But when you do make contact, be helpful. Woo them by taking interest in what they've purchased. You know, offer them relevant upsell or cross-sell options and ask them for reviews so you can continue to do an excellent job for them and your other customers. Two, um, um, segment um, and, and stop the churn. Consider your know, customers going to be churning as soon as they've made their first purchase with you. Like I mentioned, be, be helpful and ask for reviews, etc. But if they're not engaging, be prefer prepared to take them back into the fold with extra love, personalized messages from maybe their account managers, engaging them in other channels such as uh, SMS, live chat, um, and you know, think about even uh, retargeting them via Facebook and other social um, um, sites as well. Three, give them the power to, uh, to segment as well. Make sure they fill out their preferences so you can be super relevant. Whether they're a new customer or a long-standing um, subscriber, you'll need to know what makes them tick. Um, segment those and who have never updated their preferences and those who haven't done so in a while. Once you've gathered people's preferences, you can start to, uh, to use those segments and put people into different pools and, um, and target them based on your marketing criteria. Lastly, although we want to make sure that people are happy with what they're receiving with you, um, segmenting is here so that we can turn a profit. So offer exclusive services to high value customers by picking out those who spend the most with you. Treating them like everyone else is a big mistake. So instead, shower them with gifts. Uh, extend their returns policy, you know, upgrade their level of support or send them some swag. Maybe giving them exclusive access to you through other channels like WhatsApp or something like that. Right, that is my dot dive on segmentation. So you can check out um, other dot dive sessions on our events page by uh, learning.digital.com forward slash events. Um, as I mentioned before, all of this is in a guide, um, a beginner's guide to, um, to segmentation. So you can take a deeper dive in, into that. Um, but that, that is all from me. Um, thanks for listening and uh, hopefully I'll see you soon. Cheers.